Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Brianna Smith. And a new policy at Greenville Health System could mean some registered nurses will have to go back to school or risk losing their jobs. The streets are closed off and vendors are getting ready to serve you that yummy fair food. Also, the most important thing is that the police are ready. The deputies are here. So are police with those unified command centers. The chemical drift that was from that chemical fire will not be moving towards the city. So that means that all evacuations have lifted except for Crosby Circle. Like Addie said, it's April Fool's Day, but this is no joke. You need to make sure to put down those phones if you're going to be driving this morning inside the city limits. The Greenville County Sheriff's Office tells us the deputy shot the suspect after he ran towards him with a knife. We showed you this about an hour ago saying I put water on this in about five minutes. It froze and now after an hour. It's not moving. The rain here has been falling since early this morning and it's causing flooding all across these yards all the way down the street. This entire street has been evacuated. The Simpsonville mayor says it's going to be business as usual this morning, but Governor Nikki Haley says a different story. As soon as she gets his indictment into her office, she plans on actually suspending him from his duties as mayor. But we saw a couple of canine units actually drive into this by low parking lot and what they did is pull over that beige exterior. So when I did my snow angel, all all I was hitting was that ice, which is what your tires will hit if you go on that roadway. He's going to teach me how to do a turkey call. So here we go. <laughs> so it's like this, right? Yep. There we go. Nice easy on the oh, I'm going to be a great hunter once this is over. <laughs> OK, we'll see you all at 7 on your side at noon. I'm live in Greenville for now. Brianna Smith, 7 on your side. I have no regrets. Killing that pedophile was the best day of my life. Last words before a life sentence. I had to do it over again. I killed more. Reiterates the judge's verdict. I believe that if these two were to get out of jail, uh, I would be concerned that they would do exactly the same thing. Jeremy and Christine Moody pled guilty Tuesday to murdering a Union County couple in July of 2013. They claim to have shot and stabbed Charles and Gretchen Parker because Charles was on the registered sex offender list. In court, the Moody showed no remorse for the crime, smiling and even laughing at times. But the victim's family had only tears for the loss of the Parkers. I have to forgive them for what they've done to my aunt and uncle, but right now, I can't. A first look into the investigation was shown through evidence. These pictures from surveillance video show the Moody's entering and leaving the Parker's house. The solicitor claims this was a key piece to deliver a guilty plea. And that was instrumental in helping the sheriff's office get started in the investigation. As shown by the tattoos they wear, the Moody's have been linked to neo-Nazi white supremacist groups. The sheriff noted there is not a following of those groups in Union County. I think this was a freak situation. The Moody's now head to jail with strong last words. Child molesters do not deserve to live. They got exactly what they deserve. But the Parker's family can now breathe knowing justice was served. My aunt and uncle is at peace now. In Union County, Brianna Smith, 7 on your side. Rings on the fourth fingers of Brenda Clark and Carol McCrory serve as a symbol of their relationship. We knew that we wanted uh, three different kinds of gold. But in North Carolina, they can't have a license to prove it. We've bought houses and built houses and done all the normal things that couples do, except get married. Today, hundreds gathered to support same-sex couples apply for marriage license from the Buncombe County Register of Deeds office. Uh, what can we do for you today? Register of Deeds Drew Reisinger has accepted State their applications but has not approved them. I want to make sure we're not breaking law by not giving equal treatment to all people who live in our county. Applications are usually approved or denied here at the Buncombe County Register of Deeds office, but now these applications will go on to the State Attorney General's office who will decide if they're constitutional. Although the attorney general has not received the applications yet, he has issued this statement. The state constitution says that these marriage licenses cannot be issued, and this is the law unless the constitution is changed or the court says otherwise. Right now, the attorney general is a defendant in a lawsuit filed by several gay couples accusing the state of directly infringing on their constitutional rights under the 14th Amendment. Supporters and couples celebrated this small victory as the deeds office accepted and held their applications. I think it's important that we continue to take steps towards full equality for all people. We were not rejected. <laughs> but they realize there are more obstacles ahead before applications may be approved. Even if Roy Cooper turns it down and says it's rejected, at least it wasn't the first time. Yeah, we've made it to another level. In Asheville, Brianna Smith, 7 on your side.
Good morning, Fred. You're exactly right. The streets are closed off and vendors are getting ready to serve you that yummy fair food. Also, the most important thing is that the police are ready. The deputies are here. So are police with those unified command centers, and those are going to be working only right here within the festival to help those 75,000 people. There can be about 50 officers at any time right here on the streets to make sure those people are safe. Also, they're going to be using those security cameras that are up there to actually keep another eye out. The main thing they say is that they have a lot of missing children cases, so they're asking you to take a picture of your child once you get to the spring fling so that they can have a picture of exactly what your child's wearing, exactly what they look like. And they did that last year and they said it absolutely helped them connect families faster. There's a lot of kids that has a, a blue shirt. So, you know, we're looking for every kid that has a blue shirt on. But if we have that picture that we can send out, and I don't, we have the entire clothing description, uh, we may have maybe just a pink bow that's in their hair. Uh, and then we can key in on those things and the officers are able to find the child much faster. The command centers are located on both sides of Daniel Morgan Square. One here on the corner of Church and Main Street. The other one is underneath the clock tower on the other side of the square. Now remember, if you're coming down, the places for you to park are actually the downtown parking garages. Those are open for you to park. For now, I'm live in Spartanburg. Brianna Smith, 7 on your side.